Hi guys, Peaky Dippers, and today we've came to Erdington. We are at the back of Kingsbury Road, um, the Tyburn pub, just there. Um, we're going to Manly Fishes area first. So, um, today is a special day, as you can see by the puppy, it is Remembering Sunday. So we're going to remember our heroes and have, pay our respects. Uh, today, with us at the moment, we have Johnson's Adventures. Paul, Charlene and the children. So, say hello Paul. Hello. <laughs> there you go, there's my Paul. And Charlene's round, just round, round the bridge with the kids, but um, they will be on the video. At 11 o'clock we're going to do our minute silence, so we shall see you then guys. Up until then I'm going to carry on dipping. There is some signs guys already of some uh, previous magnet fishing by somebody else so there is a little pile of scrap that is somebody else's again we'll have to put it with our pile and get it to our scrap man so um, that's sorted Got a chav canister because there's not enough of them about chav canister guys it's a branch. I'm just gunk. Been on that one, guys. Just uh, rusty dust as normal. Yes, hi guys. We're still doing our rob as normal, but we are going to pay our respects, as my granddad was a war hero too, like many of your granddads. So, um, yes, yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be a little special one today, to be fair. Yeah, Paul's just had me grappling hook. I have got another grappling hook being made. Uh, look into his Facebook um, site. He's called Eddie Cochran Morris. Um, he makes and does stuff. Uh, he's got a vintage shop with all vintage items. It is in a little town called Wensbury. Uh, go on to his YouTube and look him up. Eddie Morris. Eddie Cochran Morris. And uh, follow his Facebook. If you're into all the vintage stuff, He's making me a lovely grappling hook out of some old meat hooks, so that will be absolutely bang on when he's done that. Cheers, Eddie. The Vintage Life is shop called, guys. Little piece of scrap metal, guys. I'll take a closer look at that. Uh, see what that is. Now it's just all uh, rusty. I have heard that little piece of pipe, but it's just uh, I don't know, ten pounds or something like that. You Pens in the canal. <laughs> get your own work done. Get to bed at a decent hour. Still works. Money. Bring it to school. Yeah, bring it to school. Yeah. Oh, two coins. Piece of monkey bar again. <laughs> and it is monkey bar, believe it. I pulled loads of these up, guys. I'm all, I'm all the bottle tops by the looks of it. Very old bottle tops, probably off the pub back in the day, off the Coca-Cola bottles, when we used to get the 10 pence mixes. Then was the days. Thank you. 
There we go guys, just got a little phone charger, in car one, so, yeah, nothing special, USB one, so. that guys uh, take that on give that a bit of a clean up as well that is an unusual shape Freddy will tell you <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so so far that's a little pile of scrap we pulled out that's a big plastic pipe our magnets are down our magnets are all on the floor we're going to pay respect in a minute. I'm just getting every, everybody's getting prepared. We're just getting everything in place. So, so we shall see you in a bit. Now to a magnificent, that's big respect putting your magnets down. But it's very worthy, very worthy. So, see you in a minute guys. Okay guys, we're about to start the two minute silence. I do apologize, I did say one minute silence earlier. Two minute silence um, for the 101 years since the 1914 to 18 war. My granddad was um, in that war, Battle of the Somme, so it's very personal to myself. Um, so we're going to have two minutes silence, enjoy the footage, and is there anybody else want to say anything? No, it's uh, a big thank you to all those who have served and are still serving now. Yeah. That's it, guys, yeah, because what happens is we, we do remember like the people from. 1914 to 18, 39 to 45. In any wars, um, isn't it? In, in them wars, and we respect, if you're out there fighting now for our country, we respect you totally. Um, so keep up the good work, guys, and you're the heroes. You're the heroes today. very emotional on these days guys but um again a big thank you to all our services and uh there's our poppies so cheers guys
done that uh, just going to take you back in case it is a bullet so uh, we'll see Okay guys, so we have found another knife. There we go. Another one for the amnesty box. And just a bit of junk. So yeah, I'm going to keep fishing there where I found that knife. Just pulled this out guys, uh, might be some kind of parking meter or something by the looks of it, looks like that went uh, there or something, the changing, so yeah, quite heavy. Okay guys, so we've had a go here, it's back of the uh, KFC on Tyburn Road, Marie just pulled out one of those. So, change the wheels. We need a new wheel on that side. But I was pricing these up in being here last night. Yeah. So, that's a proper heavy duty one, mate. That will do us. Because this thing here, I love it, but it's uh, oh, starting to crack now. So, that will be brilliant. That's one of them tall ones as well. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, Johnson Adventures, like and subscribe to their channel. All the kids are meeting KFCs at the mountain are quiet. It's the quietest I've ever known them. They're eating! There's Billy Moo! Fish to Lou! <laughs> when she gets older, it's gonna frown me in that canal. Oh, okay, she might not have to get older, it might just be <laughs> next time she sees me. But yeah, nice sort of find. So we've got that, and we've also got um, Mary found, I think we call it a, a fishing plummet or something. Got another one, so that's two I've got now. It's nice. Uh, but also, guys, she's found uh, it's it's only a cheap chain, but it's like one that like um, it's quite big. It's like a Mr. T chain, so I'm not going to make the mistake of snapping it all up this time. I'm going to let it soak. It looks like a gold chain, which is obviously a cheap one. But uh, yeah, I'll show you that as and when, guys. That's how close, guys. We are to Birmingham Airport, that's the Emirates. That is amazing. Mm. 
We're not too far from the airport to be fair. Just over the back is Nepal, so that is beautiful. Okay guys, so we've got a mystery bag. So Mrs. Peaky is going to undo it. Let's have a look. Looks like Philip's hair, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and it's someone's door handle. <laughs> there you go. Like and subscribe. Someone's phone. Yeah, there's Michael Perkins, guys. <coughs> He's joined us today. Down in, uh, we're down in Toysley, Birmingham. So, uh, big thumbs up to that man. And we've got uh, RMF, which is Red Reddish Magnet. Uh, please like and subscribe to them guys there. They're on Facebook. Oh, they're on Facebook. You've not got a YouTube channel? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. We'll have a YouTube channel over the next week or so. Perfect. Okay, so when they do get a YouTube channel going, guys, please like and subscribe to their channel. They've shown me uh, a good pile of stuff they've had today, so um, they get it, them doing the right thing. There's the other geezer down there, and there's James. And James. So, yeah, look out for these guys, like and subscribe when you see them. Are you packing your magnets up? 500. It's been nice and slow. Out the right way. Gently. Come off, I think. Gently. Yes, we've got a shooter. Oh my word. <gasps> oh my god. What magnet you used to pull that out? That is a. Uh, 200. 200. That is what you start with, guys. Um, oh. People slag the 200s off, but to be fair to a 200, Drastic G still uses them. And a lot of people still use Shaking. them. So, 200 has just pulled that out. Yet it took my thousand to pull out an end one. So, it just shows you, well, it, guys. Technique, that's how you do it. I'm shaking. Another, I'm shaking. There's another one in there. There's another one in there, I think. That's okay. That's why we kind of waited. Okay, guys, we're uh, going to my tracks now. It's getting very dark. Um, we finished over this area now. So uh, there's the Johnsons. Please log subscribe to their channel. There's Millie, Millie, Millie. There's a oh, that's a little tenner there. Look. <laughs> bye bye, Freddy. Bye bye, Freddy. <laughs> There's oh, vlog on vlog. Paul, it's been a pleasure as always. Yes. And uh, to Redditch Magnet uh, Fishing, look on their Facebook. They're starting a YouTube within the next week to two. Please like and subscribe straight away to them. And uh, all the best to you guys, and we'll yeah, meet again. Yeah. No, it's on you, Afazala. Yeah, it's oh. getting very dark, so. Okay. We've uh, they've had a nice trip home. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's Michael. More than magnetiers. Please like subscribe to their channel. Went oh them on Facebook, I believe, guys. So um, absolutely bang on lads, as I say every time. They um, really nice chaps. For the safe for these guys around. So. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll see you again and um, see you soon, guys. Hi guys, Peaky Dippers here. Peaky. Like and subscribe. Been to Birmingham today. Um, it was poppy day. As you can imagine, we had a two minute silence and we paid our respects to uh, our fallen heroes. So that was the main thing. Still done some magnet fishing. Um, as you'll see by the video anyway. So I've got some good finds. I've, I've, I've had a brilliant day today. Um, all will be explained as I go through my finds. So, for the normal finds, I'm just going to cover the first bit up. There's a number plate there. Um, it's a mountain bike one. This is going to be donated to my big brother, Scott Argood. He collects number plates, so uh, that's going into his collection. So that was found 
just by the side of the canal guys that was right we've got um a knife again it's another knife amnesty box destroyed Ray found a nice scraper but it's not good for magnets, scrapping magnets guys, it just sticks to your magnet, use a plastic one, that's a tip. So yeah, nice little scraper, I'll probably just chuck it to be fair. Got a nice little posh pen. We found a little plastic toy with muscles <laughs> and on the bottom it's got a wheel, so it's of some kind of little toy. It looked a bit like me when I pulled my shirt off. <laughs> I wished. I wished. Back in the day, when I was in my twenties, maybe. Found a lighter. Just a run of the mill, plain white lighter. That's a nice lighter. I wish that was working. It's uh, unusual. I've not seen one like that before. Doesn't work. All seized up, obviously. We've got uh, a few bunches of rusty old keys. A bit uh, crowded now, but yeah, keys are keys, finds are find. Little key there, and another bunch of keys. Mm -hmm. I got the key. Um, and we've got another bunch of keys as well. <laughs> so. Keys. <laughs> <coughs> Never find the blooming safe at them too low. <laughs> Never mind. One day, guys. One day, I will have bullied you. Um, comment on this, guys. Um, don't know. I haven't got a clue. I've tried to clean it up a little bit. Um, I've kept it because it was unusual shape. Tapped away at it a little bit. Um, yeah, if you can, if you can just comment on that one, guys. I'm totally lost with that. All out. We've got uh, a fishing depth plumbing thingy bobber. Found one about two weeks ago, funny enough. So uh, it's the second one I've got now. A nice little fishing collection of. Ah! <laughs> 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 On the end of these guys, there's hooks. And then quite heavy, so they get stuck in your fingers. Um, pair of nail clippers from Marie's Townhouse. Two inches long. Who grabs a townhouse that long? There you go. There you go. Found some nice fishing lures. One there. I love that one, it's lovely. Nice and shiny, isn't it? That's new. Yeah, it's that's, been not, that's, not, that's not been there long, that. I do like that one, I must say. I reckon they put that on the line and lost it the same day. There was, though, guys, up uh, the next bridge, there was um, some ma uh, manly fishers. fishers. So uh, you never know, they could have been there and lost it then. That, that's a nice new one as well, to be fair. This is uh, not old. It's out by the metal. It's not rusted up or crowded. There you go. Um, found a in car charger, USB port thing. Just go in the rubbish up there. This I pulled up and I thought at first it was a thimble that your grandma used to put on your a finger. Yeah, because he's got them uh, like little notches on it. Notches on it, it. But it's too heavy. And I think it's more like a dust cap or something, so um, again, probably just be scrap. Um, found a nice big lure, I think it's a, a piking lure, I think, so I've been told. So, uh, that's a nice one. It's beauty, isn't it? Some big hooks on there, big hooks on there, guys. Is he got eyes? Because he's got eyes, he's a fish. Fish have eyes. <laughs> Because if you haven't got eyes, it's called a what kush. What fish is that? It's a, it's a Caribbean <laughs> skirted one. <laughs> it's dancing really? in the jungle. Really? Yeah, that, yes, but that will attract fish. That will. That will attract other fish as it's going through the water. So. I do, I do think it was nice, but. It is nice. Very nice. It's, it's a fish with a dress on. We've got the usual. I had a few 10 pences today, I had 30 pence in 10 pences, uh, usual twos and ones, there guys I've cleaned up, one of five pence as well, so paid for a tip top or two, <laughs> mind you can't get tip tops for the price now can you, uh, 
pull this out. This is a snap wrist thing. Uh, I think bikers use them, push bikers or children walking on the canal on a school outing. It says Sure Start Spark Brook Children's Centre. Be safe, be seen. Um, wheels over that way, so yeah, possibility. Ah. But the ultimate find today, guys, it's probably got out already before I've even made this video. Um, we found a shotgun and we pulled it out. Um, it was getting really dark. We didn't leave the canal till pitch black. So I wrapped it up in a bath towel. Um, I'm doing the honest thing. I'm phoning the police. I'm going to get them to come and collect. As it won't find no more. I mean, it's, it's completely inert. It's going to go in the shed under lock and key away. Um, and I reckon they'll be here as soon as, to be fair. So by the time this video goes out... Yeah, it's... by the time the video goes out, this gun won't exist. Glenn's going to have him five minutes with it to give it a stroke. Five minutes with it to give it a bit that's of a, a rub little, and you know, you know hold. This, yeah. But I'm doing the honest thing, guys, because um, there's a lot of people out there that will say, oh, he's got a gun and all this kind of stuff you can imagine. Um, and to be fair, it is illegal to own a gun without a licence. So I'm going to do the right thing, but I'm going to show you the gun anyway. Before I, before I show you the gun, I forgot this find. This is like a little gold chain, believe it or not. I'm just soaking that in an pick. I'm going to leave that overnight. And then if that doesn't shift it, I should put it in some vinegar. Even though the pick's supposed to be stronger than the vinegar. But there you go. So yeah, that's them finds, guys. Now, here's the shotgun, guys. Uh, it's been checked by uh, Michael Perkins from Morven Magnets. He is ex-military. What he doesn't know about guns isn't worth knowing. It's all been safety checked. There's nothing in it. There's nothing been in it for a long time and it's crowded beyond um, recognition. But this is a beautiful find, guys. So there we have it. <coughs> it's got an owl in the barrel. Just get the scan. It's a beautiful gun. Over, yeah. It would have been a beautiful gun. Um, I have opened it, so you can see down the barrels. See down the barrels. I'm just trying. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see straight through it. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Yeah. Um, it's all been checked, like I say, safety wise. But I'll just, uh, I'll stand back, guys, and I'll let you see how big this gun is. So look at the handle. There's the handle and the stock. It's not an handle; it's a stock. What a stock then. Right. So, um, there's your safety, there's your safety, there's your breaker uh, for the barrels. But I'm doing the honest thing guys, although I'd love to keep this, and I know it'll just probably go on the wall when it's cleaned up, I'm, I don't want this to get into the wrong hands, and I'm sure you guys don't. So if you step back Marie, I'm well, a, well, you don't, you a don't, little bit of a... You don't want to get into trouble do you? It still clicks at the trigger. So, uh, hence the fact I want to hand this in. But as you can see, guys, if Marie steps back, you'll see how big this gun is. It's a proper, proper shotgun. It's a, an up and over, not a double sided, as in side by side. It's, it's seized, in. it's proper seized. It does still open, which is probably the, the one good thing about it. But it's, it's useless. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do now on that one. I have to apologise on the video because I, I, I was a bit like uh, a bit shaking when it when came you, out because when you pull something like this up, I don't care who you are. When you pull something like this up, it's gonna get the nerves going a bit. Um, I'm always aware that they might have ammo in them and stuff like that. And it's not the first one we found, and it's not gonna be the last. So I'm just gonna do the honest thing, guys. And I know people are probably saying. You're a fool. Some of you probably love me for it, but I'm doing the right thing. I go on about knives and amnesty and idiots leaving mess along the canal. So I'm going to do the right thing by myself. If I get found with this, I'm looking at 10 years. So um, it's a beaut. Don't get me wrong, it's a beaut. But it's got to go. It's got to go. 
But you found your shotgun. Yeah, well, Marie found it to be fair on a 200 kilogram magnet, guys. Uh -huh. You don't need these big exotic magnets. Um, yeah, they're nice, they're, they're really nice, and that they get anything you need, but you get them well, stuck, I, you know. I, can't, I thought I seen the butt of it, and then I put like so, I left it there and went, Brian, Peaky. But now, I left you it's, it. it's got to go, guys, and I'm an honest person. Uh, I work with a lot of honest people, they're like family to me, so I don't want to go against that. Uh, rapport that we've got with people um, yeah so as far as the finds guys yeah they weren't very good on the table but yeah I found the ultimate today it's what a lot of magnificers are after do the right thing guys and the mean um, it's just not worth it good really on, not good on you PK because I know you have absolutely loved pulling that out of the canal and I know how much it means to you pulling that shotgun out of that yeah, canal yeah and I know how hard it is for you to do the right thing. If it was the real world and it didn't get into the wrong hands and people didn't moan and there wasn't titers, then it would be a thing that I'd put on the wall. Just but, ornamental. I'm not interested in shooting the things. Uh, um, but uh, unfortunately the world we live in, if I get broken into and that's there and somebody does manage to fix it, I've got my pins all out of it and we're in trouble. So, now we're going to do yes. the right thing, guys. And we do um, not do anything illegal. No, 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 we don't. We, we, we abide the Lord, and that's what we're about. Um, I know it's not a world we're living, mate. It's all rousy around the door, and everybody's happy. But I want that kind of life for myself. I've got children and a wife. Where I've got to look after them and protect. So, I don't really want it in the house anyway. So, yeah, for a couple of seconds, but. I've done the right thing, so. And he's off to make the phone call now, isn't he? I'm going to find the police now on a live chat. I'm going to video it so they can, they'll approach the house um, in the respect of the no I'm not a threat to them. I'm just going to do a video to say this is the gun and um, this is the stated team. If we can, we'll show it on a video, aren't we? Because uh, yeah. you have to be careful what them vi We can't video. film on police, guys. Um, some of them undercover and stuff like that, so. We can't do that for You might be able to get the, the car or whatever it is mm. without the reg or something, but yeah. we'll see what they're saying. But, yeah. but other than that, guys, um, are there any shout outs? Um, well, uh, we've got our Remembrance Day thing, which we're going to put on, yeah. which is uh, the Vob Okay, if you get him, we put him on the, 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 the but, uh, back of yeah, the video. Yeah, uh, hopefully, I can get him on the video as well. So. I'd just like to give one shout out to um, a couple of American girls, um, Treasure Vixens. Um, been watching a lot of your videos, you do really well. Um, you've commented to me as well, so uh, good on you guys. Like and subscribe to their channel. Um, Magtech UK, like and subscribe. Johnson's Adventures, like and subscribe. Hard Goods, like and subscribe. Uh, Sticky Magnets, like and subscribe. Tony Shirtcliffe, Metals to Magnets, he's on Facebook. And we had a fantastic time with the. Uh... Michael and Michael James uh, Michael Perkins and James Drew Ball um, wonderful guys they're more than magnetiers they're on Facebook they haven't got a YouTube channel and we went with Redditch magnetiers today they've got a, a, a Facebook channel also um, but yeah guys uh, subscribe to them watch them follow them whatever really nice blokes feel safe when I got them guys with me because when I find things like that, they're the ones who can tell me whether it's safe or not. Even just to put it out of the canal. You know that trigger and it's loaded, it's all over. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. So, until next time, guys, by order of the Peaky Dippers, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. We'll never shoot out with Brick Rock. <laughs>